Okay, so the summer is officially over and it's time to start making videos again, hopefully more regularly than it has been in the past two months. So this is the last video I made, it was two months ago, but uh, I hope to make more regular videos from now on. And the first one is going to be short and sweet. It's a question I have been asked two times uh, this week. And the question is, how would you make this Inception movie? have the following URL. So now it has movies, movie inception. But what if we wanted to create a URL that said movies, then the genre of the movie, so let's say action and then inception. So it would be movies, action, inception. How would you make that? So in this video, I'm going to show you just that. And uh, I want to apologize. Actually, we should have covered that at the beginning of these October CMS tutorials, but I kind of forgot. So we are going to tackle that subject right now. Okay, so I'm using the site that we built throughout these tutorials, so October Movies. I hope you have it on your system or something similar. Also, I updated uh, the October CMS. I don't think this should be some sort of requirement. I think this works uh, with the first version of October, but my current system build is 442. So just FYI. Okay, so let's tackle this. Uh, let's see what we have right now. So this is our homepage and this is the link to our movie. As you can see, this link is not actually very good. So this is the part I should have shown you at the beginning of these tutorials is how to make these links be better in some way or more October CMS like. So as you can see, we are hard coding some stuff right here. So movies, movie, and then a movie slug. And this works. So if we go to our page, click on the inception, this works, this is okay. So let's make it first of all, a little bit more October like. So what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm going to go to my code editor. And instead of writing this, I will m write something like this. So let's delete this. And uh, first of all, we need to define the page on which our single movies are loaded on. So if we take a look uh, right here, you can see that we are loading that page on the movie single HTM file. So how do you make a link to it? Well, pretty easy. You would just do movie single, single, and then you would have a page and since we are current, currently, if we go to CMS and then go to movie single, for our URL, we are accepting movies, movie, and then a slug, right? So to make uh, this better, we will just write page right here, page, and then uh, we would open up brackets, and then we, we would define what the slug uh, in that URL should be. So the slug should be slug is movie.slug, right? Save this and let's see if this works. So if I refresh the page, go to inceptions, as you can see, we still get the same URL, but we use the different code and it works. Okay, this is great. So now we know how you would make your link links be more October like. Now we want to pass another parameter to our URL. So how do we do that? Well, pretty easy. Actually, you just go to movie single and you say something like genre right here. Right? Save this. But now if we go right here, refresh the page, we click on inception. We still get it, uh, but as you can see, our URL is default slash inception. So that doesn't work for us. What we need to display here is genre of the movie. So uh, we can just go to our code editor and put genre right here, right? And then we can add whatever we want right here. So I can just put something like test. So just to show you how this works save this, go back, refresh the page, 
and uh, you will see that our URL right now is movies test inception. Okay, so we don't want to hard code this value, but we want to display a genre right here. Now, the problem with the genres, at least in our case, is uh, that we can have multiple genres on one movie. Uh, so let's go to movie single. Movie single, and as you can see, we have a code that displays or all of our genres right here. So I'm just going to put it on uh, our home page uh, just to show you. So if I save this, go to our home page, refresh it, and as you can see, Inceptions ha Inception has action, documentary, and teen comedy for some reason, but that, that's okay. So these are the genres uh, connected to this movie. Now it would be much better if you categorized your movies so that the movie can only be in one genre. But of course you may be making site that has nothing to do with movies and you have your own little categories. And all of your posts or your items are in single categories. But in our case, we don't have that luxury. So we have action, documentary, and teen comedy. So we have to make some compromises right here. Of course, we can't make that link go to action, documentary, and teen comedy. But what we can do, we can just put it in the first of these genres. So how do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So as you can see, we are looping through genre movie uh, genres and if we go to our page right now and go to movies uh, genres and if I click on action you can see that we have two fields title and a slug so it's a good thing that we added the slug right here so we what we can do right now is we can just go right here and do as you can see we can access our genres through movie.genres so movie that genres now we want to get the first genre in our uh, array so it's going to be zero and we want to get the slug of that uh, genre slug and that should be it we save this go to our home page refresh it and now if i click on exception you will see that Inception is right now on movies, action, Inception, right? So this works. Also, if you go right here, you can see that this is movies, drama, and then the name of the movie and so on. So this is the way you would make more complicated links in October CMS. So remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. Uh, if you want to ask me questions, you can use social media for that, except maybe for Facebook, because I'm not getting notifications from Facebook for some reason, and I don't use it very often. I don't even have Messenger installed on my phone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like the content I put out, you can maybe subscribe to my channel. And if you really like what I'm doing here, uh, you can become a patron and use the patron page for that and send some money my way. If you want, if uh, you don't want to do that, that's up to you and that's perfectly fine. And to all my patrons, thank you very much. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.